हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द डायकोट स्टेम एंड द मोनोकोट स्टेम टुडे वी आर विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डायकोट रूट एंड द मोनोकोट रूट आई हैव मेड थ्री कॉलम्स हियर फर्स्ट इज द कॉलम ऑफ द करेक्टर्स इन विच वील बी डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस करेक्टर्स से फॉर एपीब्लेमा कॉटेक्स एक्सोडर्मिस एंडोडर्मिस पेरिसाइकल type of vascular bundles number of vascular bundles cambium etc okay here i have written the dicot root and here i have written the monocot root now let's have the difference first difference that epiblema what type of the epiblema is present in the dicot root and the monocot root epiblema means what epiblema means epidermis always one thing to be noted here is that in the case of the stems we can use the word epidermis for the outermost layer but in the case of the roots we don't use the word epidermis instead we use the word epiblema we can also use the word piliferous layer or we can also use the word rhizodermis okay we can use the word epiblema piliferous layer or the rhizodermis now had now have a look that what is the difference between the dicot root and the monocot root here in the case of the dicot root the epiblema is short lived means it is present for a short while only and soon it disintegrates and also the epiblema is single layered and it is having various unicellular root hairs because roots are having what root hairs and these root hairs are unicellular in nature but if you see the epiblema of the monocot root so epiblema here is persistent persistent means it is long lived it is not disintegrated fast it is disintegrated it is it is not disintegrated and it remains persistent and here also the epiblema is single layered and it also contains many unicellular hairs now just below the epiblema just below the epiblema is the cortex the point to be noted here is that that in the case of the roots just below the epiblema hypodermis is all together absent hypodermis was present in the dicot stem and the monocot stem but here you can see that just below the epiblema hypodermis is all together absent you must note here that hypodermis is all together absent in dicot root as well as the monocot root no roots are having the hypodermis below the epiblema so we will be discussing the cortex region and here the cortex is comparatively narrow i am not saying that it is less developed it is very well developed but in comparison to the monocot root we can say that cortex is little bit less developed than the dicot root so here the cortex is comparatively little bit narrow than the monocot root in the monocot root the cortex is very well defined it is very well developed it is wide okay now the point is the exodermis what is exodermis basically what happens that in some roots in some roots the outer cortex become differentiated into the exodermis so let's have a look where is exodermis present in the case of the dicot root the outer cortex is not differentiated into the exodermis means in the case of the dicot root the exodermis is altogether absent but if we see in the case of the monocots if we see in the case of the monocots so the outer cortex is differentiated into a layer and that layer is called as exodermis so i can say here that here the outer cortex is differentiated into exodermis and in the case of the dicot root it is not differentiated into the exodermis now just below the below the cortex region is the endodermis endodermis is less thickened here it is not thickened it is little bit less thickened and the passive cells here are absent or not clear you must be knowing that the passive cells are the cells which are meant for the entry of the water the place where the caspin strips are absent at that places what are present the passive cells are present and passive cells are always present just opposite to the protoxylem elements but what i want to say here that here the endodermis is present but it is less thickened less deposition of the lignin and the subarin occur on the endodermis of the dicot root and here the passive cells are not very much clear 
or we can say that the passive cells are absent but if we see the endodermis of the monocot root so the endodermis is more thickened more thickened means it is having the thickenings of the lignin and the suberin and here the passive cells are more clear they are present and they are present just opposite to the protozoalum elements now just below the endodermis is the pericycle pericycle is actually the layer present between the endodermis and the vascular bundles pericycle here is actually single layered it's not multi layered like the dicot stems here in the case of the dicot root the pericycle is single layered and it is made up of parenchyma and what is the chief function what is the chief function of the pericycle here the chief function of the pericycle that it gives rise to the lateral roots not only it gives rise to the lateral roots it is also meant for the formation of the cork cambium and also it forms a small part of the vascular cambium so we can say that the pericycle forms the lateral roots it forms the cork cambium as well as it forms some part of the vascular cambium but here in the case of the monocot root the pericycle here also is single layered it is made up of parenchyma but the pericycle only and only give rise to the lateral roots it not forms the cork cambium or the vascular cambium now comes the very important part vascular bundles which are present inside the pericycle and we must know that what type of the vascular bundles are present here so the type of the vascular bundles in the case of the dicot roots are radial exar can open in the previous video i have i have explained the types of the vascular bundles you can see that video and you can know that what are radial and what is exar condition and what are the open vascular bundles okay so we can say that in the case of the dicot root the type of the vascular bundles are radial exar can open in short for the learning purpose we can say that rio rio means radial exar and open vascular bundles why in the case of the monocot roots the vascular bundles are radial exarch and closed closed means what cambium is absent a uh, vascular bundles in which the cambium is absent is called as closed and the vascular bundle in which the cambium is present is called as open so here the vascular bundles are rio here they are rack means radial exarch and closed and in the case of the dicot root the vascular bundles are radial exarch and open now what is the number of the vascular bundle the number of the vascular bundle is minimum 2 to maximum 6 minimum 2 to, to maximum 6 means 2 means diarch 3 means triarch 4 means tetrarch 5 means pentarch and 6 means hexarch so the vascular bundles are 2 to 6 in number minimum 2 to, to maximum 6 not more than 6 but here the vascular bundles are more than 6 always they are more than 6 and when the vascular bundles are present more than 6 then this condition is called as the polyarch condition now next comes the cambium as we have seen that the vascular bundles uh, were having the open type the open type of vascular bundles are present means the cambium is present so in the case of the dicot root the cambium is present but it is not present since from the beginning it is formed only at the time of the secondary growth but as we know very well in the monocot root the vascular bundles are closed so we can say that cambium is absent now few more characters that is the next is the say for we will be talking about the next one and that is the secondary growth okay that is the secondary growth as we know very well that the cambium is present so secondary growth will be present in the dicot root in dicot root the secondary growth is present while here we know very well that the cambium is absent so the secondary growth is absent secondary growth is absent next comes the last point and that is the pith that what type of pith is present in the case of the dicot stem i have said that pith was very well developed but here the case is totally different here the case is totally different you will see here that in the case of the dicot root the pith is less developed pith is less developed while in the case of the monocot root the pith is 
more developed the pith is more developed and it must be noted here that i have not given the difference between the pith rays because in the case of the roots the pith rays are all together absent the pith rays are not present here instead of the pith rays here the conjunctive tissue here the conjunctive tissue is present and the pith rays are totally absent so students this was the difference between the dicot root and the monocot root keep watching my videos in the next videos i will be coming with the difference between the dicot leaf and the monocot leaf if you have liked this video subscribe my channel also like and share this video and if you are having any problem you can share me in the comment section i will be answering to your questions as soon as possible thanks a lot